give me a second. Because the shit I just seen and witnessed when it comes to a movie being terrifying, I haven't felt this way in a long ass time. Not off a movie. This shit right here, this shit right here, I mean, this shit right here, nigga, this shit right here. <laughs> oh, I just had to try to make myself laugh, man, because I'm telling you, if y'all was sitting right here with me while I was watching the last 15 minutes of The Exorcist Believer, you would have thought something was wrong. You would have thought I was fucking possessed. I haven't, I haven't jumped or looked away from a screen. Like, literally had to walk the fuck away because of a one scene. Shit was fucking disturbing. I'm usually good with watching movies. Horror, comedy, action, it doesn't matter. I'm usually good. I don't usually... Like, cover up my eyes, or I don't usually walk away. I don't do none of that. But this particular scene made me get up and pause it and walk the fuck away. For at least 10 minutes. Had to give me a drink of water. I had to calm myself down. Because I was filled with so many... Oh, my God. <sighs> Woo! Spoiler alert. If you have not seen the movie, because I'm about to get this part away, I have to. Oh my God. Before I get into that scene that shook me up, them two girls, them two young women, girls, whatever you want to call them, that start, they can act. They had me believing that they were really fucking possessed. All I said, if y'all have not seen this damn movie, it's okay. The first scene, going into the mid scene, but when it gets to the last fucking 15 minutes, woo, I'm telling you, y'all gonna feel the same way I am. The last 15 to 20 minutes of this damn movie. <sighs> Alright, I'm about to get this little part away. Like I say, spoiler alert. So if you don't want to hear what I'm about to say, I advise you not to finish listening to this or watching this because I'm about to say one scene that shook me the fuck up I'm not gonna give away the movie though I'm gonna let y'all find out for yourself but I had to talk about this is the reason I'm doing this review it's not a review of the fucking movie it's a review of that one scene okay I know y'all remember the, the old exorcist the first one with Linda Blair I think that's her name I might be wrong who played Reagan I might be wrong on her real name you remember the scene where she turned her head a complete 360? This has some similarities to that. This was just a little bit more disturbing than that. I mean, I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm like in disbelief that they had that much power to do this shit to that fucking priest. He was in the middle of trying to save the two girls. He had his hands, you know, he had one cross and he had, I forgot what the other thing is called. He had, it's like, it's beads and shit. It's whatever those priests use with the beads. I, I can't remember what that's called. But he had a cross in one and the other one, I think a rosary, that's it, a rosary with something on it. I'm not sure what it was that was connected to the rosary. And he had his hands on their head and he was, you know, trying, he was saying whatever, priests say to try to save the victim you know say what was possessed and as he was doing that you know 
I was like, okay, okay, he's about to save him. Okay, he he finna get this demon up out of them two innocent girls. I'm like, okay, this shit is working because the way he came in, the music started playing, everyone started looking at each other, and you just believed that he was about to save these girls. Man, when I tell you I was not expecting what the fuck was about to happen, he was into his shit, saying what he got to say. Next thing you know, you, the two girls, they elevated their heads up. Because at that time, you thought he was getting rid of the fucking demons out of these fucking girls. The next thing you know, like I say, they just raved their heads up slowly then everyone that was in that room, they started looking at each other because they wasn't expecting that. They thought he was doing a good job. They thought he was really exercising those demons out of those uh, girls. Man, no fucking two girls looked up. One girl, you know, there... No, I'm not going to give it away. I don't want to give it away. I'll let y'all find out for yourself. I was about to give something else away. But that one girl start twisting her fucking head slowly the next thing you know the priest start you know you could see it in his face like he felt something was wrong then he had got like this aching look like something was really tearing tearing him up from the inside the little girl started twisting her neck little by little and next thing you know you see his head started to fucking move same direction as that girl head was moving. Now remember, this is a fucking demon, two demons, that's possessing these girls. But they never gave it away on w what demon it is. If it's the devil, or is it just a, you know, one of his, you know, top, whatever you want to call it, his top demons. They never gave that shit away. So as she's turning her head, his head started turning. Little by little. Next thing you know, she damn near halfway got her head and his shit is turning and while he's screaming you can hear the cracks and the breaks in his fucking neck she turned her head all the way up fucking around she made his fucking head turn 360 all the way the fuck around literally all the way up fucking around you can see his neck twisting the skin bending and Oh, the, the, the fucking bones popping out his fucking neck. You hear the cracks. 360, all the way the fuck around. And she's smiling as the shit is going on. Everyone is screaming because they're in disbelief. Because the way he came in, he's like, he's about to say it today. This motherfucker here went completely around and then he fell and died. But the way they made it look like it was disturbing. Y'all have to check that scene out. Check this movie out. Woo, man. When you watch some shit like that by yourself with all the lights off, I'm telling you. This shit was intense. And it's a lot of shit that you find out in the movie that you be like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. That dude did that shit. I was shocked because the way it starts. And then towards the end, you know how, and if you've seen a lot of horror movies, a lot of uh, exorc you know, exorcism type movies, you know, the demon always, you know, they know the, a person's life. They know what a person is thinking. They know what they've been through because they're demons, so they know. Just like angels. And this particular demon knew something about one other possessed girl's dad. What happened with the wife? And y'all have to see it to know what I'm talking about. And that part was fucked up. Because I remember seeing the beginning. And when they asked him. They didn't get like. He didn't give an answer. They blocked it off. And then it was a couple years later. You know how that shit goes in movies. And, and then towards the end. It gave it away on what he actually said. Who he actually ch chose. And I was shocked. I was not expecting that. I was not. And then. One of the uh, parents that was in that room. Just. Just made the worst decision ever. He's a fucking bitch. And that's why that shit ended up happening to one of the girls. Because of the fucked up ass father's decision. Dumb. I love 
I love my kids dearly. I love my kids dearly, but I could not make that decision. I could not. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. It would haunt me for the rest of my life if I made a decision that his dumb ass made. And he ended up regretting that shit. His girl was strong. His wife. He was the weak one. Y'all just see what I'm talking about when you watch the movie. Dude was going to piss y'all the fuck off. Like, dude, you a dad. Be there. Be right there every step of the way with your damn daughter, dude. Y'all going to see. Y'all know my review is going to be real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with all that bullshit. I like uh, one of my favorite... Uh, YouTubers I like watching this um, Frankenstein Frankenstein's Lab Y'all need to check them out They funny as fuck I watch all they shit And you know I be uh, reading a lot of the comments And people be loving them because they real You know they they curse They don't give a fuck They not trying to be all professional Like a lot of these YouTubers are now Because they got these uh, High profile channels and shit They ain't like my little bitty ass channel These are some big time motherfuckers but they want to be all professional but Frankenstein's lab they keep it real they keep it real you know they wear the bandanas and shit shout out to Frankenstein's lab y'all I hope y'all end up checking my shit out one day if anyone out there know someone from Frankenstein's lab personally let them know that I'm giving them a shout out you know what I'm saying man woo that Oh my god. And them fucking girls, man, I'm telling y'all, wait till y'all see the final 15 and they can act. It's gonna you damn near believe that they're possessed, I'm telling you. Whew. Well, I'm out of here, y'all, because this shit got me kind of fucked up. I gotta go in here and drink some more motherfucking water. Get my mind off this shit. Probably I wasn't even gonna do no damn reactions tonight. But I need to do something to take this shit off my mind. I ain't, I ain't turning my motherfucking light off tonight. I'm sleeping with my motherfucking bathroom light on, my stove light, my living room light, my kitchen light, my bedroom light. I'm going to put a motherfucking flashlight on. I ain't fucking around. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, and I hope y'all appreciate this review. It's all about RDS. Let's go. And like y'all know, if you a part of my, you know, channel, if you watch, if you know, you know what I live by, my motto, peace, love, and I'll let y'all finish that.